Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 17. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today we are taking part in the Japan tour. We're going to be taking this, uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer again. Uh, the Lancer is sort of our go-to vehicle at the moment. Um, so we're going to be going around the Twin Ring Motogi, the Tokyo R246, and the Suzuka Circuit. Each of these races are four laps, so they're going to be quite long. Um, so we're about, we're nearly at the 600 so hopefully hopefully this car will be good enough um for this event to get first or i mean if we get second it's fine but i'm hoping to get first with this and it is a very powerful car so we're going up against the gtr skyline r34 we got a, another lancer just like us a rx7 nsxr concept and a fair lady z Nice. Right, here we go. Mitsubishi time. We got the carbon hood now. Slowing down for the first corner here. Awesome. We've also got a uh, custom gearbox in this now, so... Uh, the gear ratios are one longer than before, so fifth gear will get us to a high speed. But also, uh, we now have a sixth gear as well. So, hashtag performance. Very nice, very nice. Got a Supra up ahead of us. Try and squeeze past there. And here comes the R34. <coughs> Just ahead. For some reason, that fourth gear drops the car down so many revs. But it didn't do it that time. Right, behind the other Mitsubishi now. This one isn't tuned, the one in front. And our one is OP. Uh, where is the lap, um, lap number two starting? I don't know this track very well. I've obviously played it a little bit on Gran Turismo PSP. But I... I'm not very confident on the track. It's not in any games other than Gran Turismo. Nice. Oh, what are you doing? Don't be getting into my uh, driving line. Here's the GTR though. This is a car that I was worried might appear. Oh, I've just seen what's in first. I mean, we are catching up with it, but like, oh, back in its natural habitat again, the midst of issue. Look at that thing. It is a Nissan race car, um, but it's like the road-going race car version, because like, for cars to be in like Le Mans and that, they need to make road versions apparently or something. I can't remember. Definitely in the old days you had to. I don't know about now, if you still do. But they had to make like road versions of like the Ford GT Mark 40 um, otherwise they couldn't have it in Le Mans
Awesome. There we go. That was a very good corner there. Drifting. Come on, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it steady. Try not to lose control at all in this race. Because I don't want to be booking a table for two in the middle of those uh, gravel traps. Not today. Awesome. These uh, series are only going to get longer and longer as well. I think as well from here on onwards we're only putting one championship in each video rather than two like we were before. Um, so it's going to shorten the uh, foreseeable for the International B I think. But I think International A gets really long. Um, so those videos shouldn't be too much of a problem for length-wise. Here we go, nice. That Nissan race car is not doing very well. Here we go. Awesome. Some very good corners going through there. That was perfect timing there. Gone wide on that corner again. Nice. Awesome. Oh, I have just noticed we're on the final lap. Let's do this. Come on. Let's see if we can get a faster lap. The fastest lap on this one. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, this lap time's ruined. It went very wide. That was crazy. Come on, come on. Awesome. Right, we're coming out to the final stretch now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And where's the finish line? There we go, finish. What was that total time? 8 minutes 24.8, fair enough. It's a very good race there. 
Look at that. Stunning car. 28,000 credits, which is a very good paycheck there. Let's quit and go to the second race. What is the second race going to be? I think it's... I know the third one is Suzuka. Second one is Tokyo. There we go. Right, let's go. The music is really good for this one. That is some good music. Right, what are we looking at for vehicle-wise? So we've got GTR Spec V. And we've got Skyline R34, a Supra. We've got two more R34s. That uh, number seven might actually be an R32. I'm not sure. Um, and what else have we got? Oh, come on. Oh, so we've got another Lancer Evo just like us. And a RX-7. Here we go. Look at that Evo. The carbon hood looks amazing for this car. There we go. We've overtaken one, two cars. We could get a third. Okay, so both cars are uh, R34s. Three cars on the first corner. And after the first corner, another two cars. So five cars within the first straight, the first corner, and the second straight. Five cars total. That's crazy. This car's well within the boundaries as well. Oh. Nice. Make sure we slow down for this section here. Try not to hit the wall. Perfect. Squeezing past the Evo through here. Awesome. Gone a bit too quick through there, though. Uh, I have a feeling this is the... GTR now? No, this is an ISF. Lexus. I'm guessing the GTR is the next car up in first. And the GTR is going very quick. And into sixth. There we go. Couldn't have been timed better if I tried. Come on, let's catch up with the GCR. Awesome. Right, slow down. Let's squeeze through. Squeeze through. Oh! Ah, there we go. I love this track so much. It's almost futuristic. Ah, oh, we've hit the inside again. We're going to have to try and figure out a way to uh, not hit the walls through that section. Nice. Onto the main straight. The American is right behind us.
did it again. Two laps in a row, we've done that breaking point spot on. To be fair, you sort of start to learn. With the reference point of Gran Turismo giving you the reference of breaking, you can sort of learn to adapt it into your own braking line. And I like how Gran Turismo gives you a very rough sort of... It gives you like a maximum traction braking line. But there are obviously braking lines that you can take for the fastest speed with maybe a little less traction. It is interesting. Come on, round the corner. Nice. Right. Let's see if we can do this corner here. It's this two, like, little corners. Try and do this without messing up. Perfect. GG to me, I guess. Nice, very nice. Come on, come on, come on. Right, on to lap number four. Let's try and make this the fastest lap yet. Overshot it. Ah, I jinxed it. I jinxed that that was going to happen. Come on, come on. Very nice. Let's try and glide around this corner a little bit. Nice. I still haven't worked out how to turn on the fuel and tyre wear. It's bugging me. That I'm too stupid to work it out. Very nice, very nice. Right, coming up to the final corner here. Oof. Crash into the wall a little bit there. I have a feeling the four-wheel drive cars are going to excel all the time. Because obviously they have four wheels of traction, the rear wheels are driving, the front wheels are driving, the front wheels are turning, the rear wheels are sliding. They all are uh, being shared that load equally, and it almost like really does help. But we were 9.4 seconds ahead, so that is very good there. Very good. G G. 29.4k credits, three stars. We love to see it. Right, exit. We're going to move on to Suzuka next. Once the game loads. Here we go. Suzuka circuit. Four laps. What are these typical cars? So we've got a GTR Black Edition, an LFA, and RX-7. Haven't seen a single one of those cars yet. Now that I've said that, we're going to get like all LFAs and it's going to be an absolute nightmare. I have jinxed it. Every time I say something like that, I always jinx something. Okay, no. But what we do have is something really cool. We have four Skyline R34s. That is awesome. We've also got a GTR up at the top. And we've got 
Uh, is that two Lancers? No, we just got one Lancer and a RX-7. Okay. Right, let's do this. On the main straight. Got the NSX in front of us. I have extended the gears slightly so that we can get um, more sort of straight line speed. But also the corners won't probably, with a pinch of salt, uh, probably won't be like right on the boundaries of two gears. Which is perfect because we can stick this into third gear for the entire of the S-Bends here. Here we go, nice. Right, we got the Skyline to catch up with. Skyline number one, I think this is. What are you doing? Skyline numero dos. Skyline number three. Get that overtake very nice there. And then Skyline number four. Bye bye. This car is sort of very uh, front heavy. I think it's a 58 to 42 balance. So 58% of the car's weight is towards the front, 42 of it's towards the rear. So the front tyres are sort of being sort of pushed a little bit more. Here we go. Overtaking the ISF. And coming up to the GTR Skyline Spec V, whatever it is. The R35. Honestly, though, I cannot wait for the R36 to come out. They've got to make one. They're just sticking with that current design a bit too much at the moment. Awesome. Go, go, go. Can stick it in third through here. Come on. I would love to go to just a racetrack, any racetrack one day. Suzuka would be a dream to go round because it is such a it's a perfect racetrack. It is perfect. Nice. Probably should have traction control off. I've obviously only got it on one, so it's not like there enough. But it's still there. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. Right, coming on to lap number three now. Here we go. It's 
Let's get around here. Nice. Perfect. We are in the right gear as well. Gear number three. I wonder what fuel this is. I'm guessing it's like an unleaded engine. I wouldn't presume Mitsubishi would make diesel engines. That's more like an Audi thing to make diesels. To be fair, I don't even think the Audi R8 is diesel. Go, go, go. Awesome. Right, that is lap number three nearly done. Let's just get around this corner now. Chicane time. And then after the chicane, he is then on to lap number four, the final lap. Come on, come on, get around the corner. Very nice. Good, good, good. Got very well through those S-bends there. I have a feeling this could be the fastest lap yet. Holy shit, that was close. Right. The one thing that uh, Gran Turismo doesn't tell you is if you're, like, ahead of your previous time. Which Forza does tell you, but then Forza's a crap game. I prefer... I've always preferred Gran Turismo over Forza. But it's just... There was Forza Horizon that came out. And it was like, well, they make more Forzas than they do Gran Turismo's. Awesome. That is really good, that corner. That corner, not so much. I have a feeling that we could still be it, maybe? No. Of course not. Though, we did beat our second lap, which is uh, a little bit crazy. All of the uh, R34s managed to stick together, though, for the end section there. And let's see our money, 30,000 and three stars. Perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, 
Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.